Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. So a couple months ago, I joined Summer from Summer's Tips and Stitches here on YouTube. She has a Facebook group and it's a really fun Facebook group. I really enjoy it. If you guys are on Facebook, you should definitely join that group. Um, every now and then she hosts a uh, yarn swap and they're really fun and I really love um, gift swaps and gift exchanges. I think they're so much fun and if they're yarny related that's even better. Um, so I did a yarn swap and I had the most amazing partner and she was super sweet and definitely went above and beyond and I am so excited to share with you guys uh, what I got for the exchange. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this and it was so much fun meeting her. I actually have signed up for a second one and I just love making more yarny friends. I think it's so exciting and it's one of the best parts of having like the digital part of like the crochet world, I guess, where you have like the YouTube and you know, Facebook groups and you have different um, parts where you can find people who are just so amazing and so sweet and I really really love that. So I'm happy to have so many yarny friends and I'm so thankful for all of you guys and I thought you guys might enjoy seeing what I received for my yarn swap. So this was a, I don't think this one had a theme. Sometimes they do like not necessarily a theme but just like a 4th of July yarn swap was one of them or like the, an Easter yarn swap or like a Valentine's Day. I think this one was just a random yarn swap. Um, so when I opened this I was instantly shocked because there is so much yarny goodness in here. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> super super beautiful and everything was jam-packed in here. I have no idea how she did this but um that is some amazing packing skills so the first thing i got was this royal it's zeman yarn i guess i've never heard of this before but it's super soft and it's really really pretty i'm trying to find the yardage so it has where, where did i see it it's 100 percent acrylic and then it just says 100 grams so i'm not really sure how much is in here but it's really really pretty and i love it and it's kind of like a beige color and it's beautiful <laughs> and i love it so much and that will definitely come in handy it's really really soft i've never heard of this before this type of yarn but really pretty so there's that and then i love this so much this is i love this yarn and it is in the color pale aqua gradient super pretty i am excited to use this i think i picked up something similar to this at hobby lobby but i don't think i got this exact yarn i think i got one that was a little bit more like denim looking but this one is super super pretty it's got a lot of different colors in there so I'm excited to see how that works up. And she sent me two. So I'm super, super happy and really want to work with those. Then I got these two. I've never heard of these before either. And that is so much fun about like doing yarn swaps and stuff like that. Because sometimes you get yarns that you've never heard of before. And I, I love trying out new yarn. So I, I'm excited. So this, it says to, it recommends a 5.5 through a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and it's a four worsted weight 100% cotton yarn so it comes with 85 yards and look it's super pretty it's like um definitely different than acrylic yarn I don't know if you can tell well kind of it looks almost like you know those fabric type of yarns that are you're supposed to make Oh, maybe right here. I think it's like t-shirt yarn. It kind of looks like a thinner t-shirt yarn. So I'm excited to see what I'll make with this. 
cotton yarn. I think I'll like this type of cotton yarn more than the, like maybe the sugar and cream one. Cause I've used that once or twice before. And I, I don't know. It's not that I don't enjoy working with it. I just, I think amigurumis for me personally, I think they look better in acrylic yarn, but it could very well just be the cotton yarn that I'd used before. But anyways, that's something totally different. So this one is Darn Good Yarn. This one is 100% acrylic bulky yarn. And it comes with 50 yards. And it recommends a 6.5 through a 9 millimeter hook. So whatever works best for you. This yarn is really pretty. It doesn't have a name. I don't... Yeah, it doesn't have like a name, but... I love this. It's super pretty and I love how bulky it is. So I am excited to work with this as well. I'm curious what I can make with 50 yards of it. Um, oh, I don't know. I was going to say tomato, but it looks more red on the camera than in person. In person, it looks a little bit like an orange red, but it's very, very beautiful. Speaking of beautiful yarn, look how pretty this is. So this one is from Hobby Lobby. It's I Love This Yarn. And the color is Fruit Punch. I feel like that's very fitting. Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to have problems deciding what to make with this. Because it is so pretty. And I just... It, it seems like one of those very inspiring, like magical types of yarn. And I think I'm going to keep this for a a long while until I find the perfect project for it. In fact, this might be like the inspiration for a new pattern. Um, I just, it's so pretty. It's beautiful and I absolutely love it. It comes with 252 yards and it's 100% acrylic. So, so soft too. I love Hobby Lobby's yarn. It's like my favorite type of yarn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so there's a lot in here. I told you guys, she like jam packed this and that's some amazing packing skills. So she even included Red Heart Super Saver Stripes and this is in the color Retro Stripe. This is some of my favorite yarn. Like the colorway is beautiful and I cannot find this yarn. I think it's gotten, from what I've heard, it's gotten a little bit easier to get a hold of this yarn, but for me personally, it is still not easy. I think you can order it online, but I prefer to buy my yarn in person, and I just think it's so much more fun when you can um, to buy it in person, especially because if I buy yarn online, like, I, I don't know, it's just something about going to the store and picking out yarn is it just seems so much more fun i mean unless if there's online sales and that would be pretty fun too but i for some reason don't really run into online yarn sales but anyways this yarn is super beautiful and there's so many things you could make of it it's just it's also i feel like these two are like very inspiring yarns to just have them on your shelf not forever to have them on your shelf but for a little bit and then i feel like you will get inspired by having yarns like that um, the last thing are two of my absolute favorite yarns, and I've only worked with these once before. Um, I This yarn is so soft, and it's my favorite. It's the Loops and Threads Chenille Home Yarn. I made a cucumber from this yarn before, and it's the softest yarn that I have ever held. And I absolutely love that cucumber. And I love this yarn so much. So this is a 7 jumbo yarn. It's 100% polyester. It recommends a 11.5 millimeter hook. This is the color Petrol Blue. And this is cream. So I I love these so much. I don't know what I'm going to make with them. They come with 109 yards each. I think I, I don't know. I, I'm excited 
but I think maybe if I use them, it would be cool to use them together so that way I can make like something really special. Um, I, uh, I am so thankful, so, so thankful. And I got such an amazing um, partner. So again, I'm happy to have made a Yarny friend and she even included three sticker sheets. I love stickers and look how beautiful these foxes are. So I used to have a dog that looked like a fox and when we would walk him there would be people I remember one time specifically there was a little boy who was like look mom they have a fox um it was I love that dog so much so foxes are definitely special to me and this like beautiful flowers and butterflies and then this sheet of flowers so I'm excited to use these on like um happy mail and stuff like that and just to decorate around because I love stickers so much so I told you <laughs> this box was very very packed and there was a lot of love in here not just yarn there was a lot of love and I appreciate it so much and I just want to thank my uh, swap partner again I did thank them personally but um I I just love everything so much and I'm super thankful and I um, hope you enjoy your box and um, thank you for swapping with me. Um, thank you so much to everyone for joining me. If you're interested in doing a yarn swap, definitely join Summer's Tips and Stitches group. I know I've mentioned that I want to host a yarn swap in my uh, Facebook group, so hopefully I can get on that very soon. I I think that would be really fun and I think a lot of people would enjoy that too. So thank you for joining me and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!